Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to cover the earthquakes that have been happening there in Las Vegas. The latest was yesterday, a magnitude 1.6, 15 kilometers northwest of Las Vegas. You probably have a better chance of predicting a magnitude 7.9 or greater earthquake of hitting than you do of winning the lottery. A lot of people um, don't take the threat that serious. There are eight tecto tectonically driven faults within this area that could affect the coming of a large earthquake. I have drawn out in yellow here. Let me zoom in a little bit to that area for um, the liquid faction area. Um, blow holes uh, where the ground sinks, uh, the ground turns to like quicksand because the water table is relatively shallow in this area um, up to um, 50 feet deep in some spots. I was shocked to hear that Bill Gates has been building tunnels for transportation right along the Lake View fault line. Yeah, how, how could he get away with doing this? Oh, that's right. He is friends with some powerful people there in Las Vegas, the city of sin, who helped his uh, um, Microsoft beginning industry, beginning company, help grow. From what I, I am reading here in this article in the Las Vegas Review, it says in the 70s, um, they helped the fledgling personal computer industry. The partners formed the Interface Group and organized the computer dealers exposition then shorten the name to comdex yep building these tunnels right along a fault line yeah can you imagine being in those tunnels instead of walking or taking an uber the walk would be like a 15 minute drive to um, this other area that he plans to build he's building it at his own expense and the agreement supposedly is all that um, any of the casino owners or uh, entrepreneurs got to do is pay for the cost cost of the entrance to the tunnels that Bill Gates is building. He's got one planned over here that he's going to put in, and he's got another one planned over here by this other location that's under development. And I guess the one over here is already completed. Let me zoom out for you. It's supposed to be the convention center there in Las Vegas. But, like I said, there's eight fault lines that are all tectonically controlled in the Las Vegas area. And we know that the continents are on the move and the threat continues to grow. When the next large mega earthquake occurs in this location, like I said, you got a better chance of placing bets on that than winning uh, the lottery. Over here we have the Hoover Dam, or what used to be called the Boulder Dam. During its construction and the filling of this dam, it created a sinking of the Earth's crust and created quite a few earthquakes in this area. They found that um, the sediment that has risen because of the changing of the river and the weight of the water. In 1939, they had a magnitude 5.0 earthquake. 1948, there was two earthquakes. I couldn't get exact magnitudes or more information on them, but they were between a 5.0 and a 3.0. So 1948, there was two earthquakes. Uh, 1958, they had one. 1950, they had one. 1963, there was two. 1952, there was four. And in 1947, there was uh, two events, two earthquakes. Here on the Las Vegas Review, they have a map showing all the different fault lines. They got the West Charleston Fault Line, the Ingleton Fault Line, the Cantor Fault Line, West View Fault Line. Yeah, that's where they're building the tunnels. Kashmir Fault Line. Um, let me bring this down. Whitney Mesa Fault Line and the French Mountain Fault Line. Going back to Lake Mead and the... Um, dam the Hoover Dam you'll see the Lake Mead fault system yeah it's a pretty wide system and it goes all the way up here let me bring this out to Black Ridge Island 
and it actually goes down and around and connects to the French mountain fault system. On the Nevada Seismological website, I found quite a few earthquakes, and some of them that I found were not listed on USGS. Now, granted, USGS only lists earthquakes for the last um, week. That's the maximum that they keep them, but on here they keep them up to 14 days. Here on USGS, there's 13 earthquakes going all the way up to Indian Springs. Yeah, that's another major fault zone that has an effect on what's going on with the uh, eight fault zones that are moved by tectonics. You know, the movement of the plates. Today, there was a small, very small microquake, a 0 0.8 up by Indian Springs. Let me bring this over. A 0 0.4 also by Indian Springs. A 1.0 by Indian Springs. And another 1.0. Um, that one was also today. That was near Pahrump, Nevada. And over here, we got Las Vegas. A lot of people don't realize that the earthquakes in this area are also controlled um, by the Walker Lane Fault Zone. And let me bring this out for you. We got the different fault zones here. We got Furnace Mountain Fault Zone, Grand View Fault Zone, um, Paramount Valley Fault Zone. And then over here, we got the Walker Lane Fault Zone. And you know of all the earthquakes that have been happening there by Ridgecrest. And that's all part of the Walker Lane Fault Zone. And the earthquakes that have been happening in Mina, there in Nevada. That's all part of the Walker Lane Fault Zone. Let me bring this out. So we got the Walker Lane Fault Zone and we have Las Vegas over here. USGS has one earthquake listed for yesterday for the Las Vegas area. Um, a 1.6, again, that was yesterday. And then on the 11th, there was a magnitude 1.2. Boy, there was a lot of earthquakes on the 11th of this month around the world. I want to give a shout out to my aunt who lives in Henderson. Her birthday is later this month. And she is quite concerned about these tunnels they're building. Well, I can't say she's quite concerned about it. She just thinks it's really dumb with all the earthquakes that are possible there. But yeah, really dumb to building tunnels right on a fault zone. And it's right next to this yellow zone where they have liquid faction hazard that can happen. You know, your homes would just sink and flooding and blow holes and everything else if a magnitude large enough. Well, they're predicting a um, earthquake possibly up to a 7.9. Why don't they just say a 7.8 rounded off? How many of you there are prepared for a major earthquake? How many of you have earthquake insurance? How many of you have your bookcases and heavy objects bolted to the walls? And that includes your hot water heaters. The Hoover Dam was built to withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake. But it's been sinking. <laughs> Yeah, it sunk on the southern end of the dam um, up to 10 inches. It seemed to have stabilized. They finally realized that raising the water and lowering the water um, has an effect on the earthquakes there. So they're trying to keep it within um, a cer certain degree of, you know, weight. And they haven't noticed um, any more settling in the last 15 years. Well, 15 years is not a long time. And with more development going on and the water table being depleted, yeah, what effect is that going to have on these different fault lines? And like I said, um, this fault system that runs through this area goes all the way up to the French Mountain Fault System. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.